Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do an AP on a lateral knee x-ray um, of someone that I would be demonstrating it on and I'll be showing you different tips and tricks in order to get it because it's one thing to know the center and any general positioning but there are some things that you can do in order to make it easier or to make it um, more foolproof or to make sure that you get it. So we're going to be looking at those things today so let's get straight into it. I'm in need of an X-ray. X-ray, X-ray, X-ray. Okay, so I just raise any table. He doesn't. My patient doesn't want to be in the video. He said. So we're gonna be looking at the AP and then the lateral knee. We're looking at his right knee in this case. Of course, you know after your position, you put your markers and all of that, but. We're not focusing too much on things like marker placement right now. We're just looking at the positioning for the AP and the lateral knee. So for the center end for the AP, first of all, I want to make sure that the patient's leg is straight. So right now, his leg is rotated outwards, as you can see, right? Based on how the toe is pointing, you want to straighten the knee to make sure that it's pointing. Now you can see it pointing upwards. Right, and what you could also do if you're not sure, you could actually palpate and feel this area here the tibial spine or the tibial, um, how's it term? Um, tuberosity, the little projection here, the bony projection. You could feel that up here, and once it's running in a straight line, you know that the leg is straight. Right, that's an extra tip there. So, I'm just gonna raise up the leg a bit, straighten the cast up. Or the image receptor, whichever you're using. And for the center and for the AP knee, you want to palpate for the patella because the center and according to Bontrager anyway, or in general, is a half inch distal to the apex, which is the bottom point of the patella. So what I do sometimes, because some patients are bigger, like their leg or whatever, the knee, area might be bigger than others so I would press and feel and you want to do this gently because especially if they have knee pains you don't want to go pressing and squeezing right so lightly you palpate so I'm feeling the patella here and you work your way out this is the apex of the patella there's the entire joint here, the entire bone here right apex of the patella and you measure about a finger width or so estimate half inch so the knee joint is here now some patients you may not even feel the patella right based on the size of the, the the um the leg so what you could also do is ask them to bend the knee slightly so bend your knee and you could estimate where the crease is at straighten the knee straighten out the leg right when you line that up it actually lines up to the apex of the patella so you could just estimate there right but yeah there's still half inch just still to the apex and from there you make sure your cast set is also centered well and aligned with the direction of the leg and you're using a straight tube a normal 90 degree right estimate or measure i don't know if you have a measure oh, yes we do right so you can measure your SID, make sure you're at your quarter inches, right, and you center at the point that you just measured. So straighten the back of your leg as you turn the tablet, right, apex of the patella, right there, and you center to the middle of the, the leg. So that is the AP knee, right, and of course for your collimation, you make sure you include the skin border on both sides and you place your marker on the outside lateral to the parts which will be on this side and you're good to go you can open up lengthways because you want to get about a third of the femur and a third of the tibia tib fib you can even close in a little bit more this way because if you were to break the tib fib up into three parts one two three days about today right so that's the AP knee next we're gonna look at the lateral so now we're gonna have the patient turn for 
the lateral so you turn into me and you could adjust obviously you change your cassette or whatnot right and whoop, trying to flash <laughs> flash the people down there <laughs> right so raise up the knee a little bit good so that's just me generally placing the cassette where i think the joint would be right right so a tip that i use right usually you see how this lovely patient is lying down this way here he's actually at let me show you from this angle right somewhat of a 45 ish degree angle right the body is tilted he's not 100 percent on his side and this is where we get a lot of knee rotation or under rotation i should say where the knee isn't rotated all the way to the side enough and then you get the condyles and everything not lining up and not looking good right so if you watch his knee right now this was him putting himself into this position naturally if you watch the position of his leg right now right you would see that his knee actually pointing at an angle going up kind of right so what i'm gonna ask you to do is turn all the way onto your side make sure that the hips roll forward as well and adjust yourself make sure that you're comfortable right so as you see naturally his leg is now rotated in a more of a true lateral from there you don't want super imposition of the other leg so you have them straighten out the leg to the back right keeping the ankle kind of close by straightening the knee good so that's what i do and then you feel or you palpate this is a, another tip right palpate for the epicondyles or the condyles to make sure that they are over each other so what i do i usually take my thumb finger and my middle finger i use the middle finger to to touch or to palpate the lateral condyles and the thumb finger for the condyle on top and i make sure that it lines up right so to the foot down a bit and now the knee is in a more lateral position another thing you can do is palpate for the patella and when you hold here you make sure that you, the both hips for your fingers line up under each other right now the thing with this if your patient is coming in with a potential or suspected patella dislocation palpating for the patella is not going to work because when you palpate the, the patella if dislocated will be off to one side so you'll actually either end up being under rotated or over rotated right so the condyles is the safest bet even though he's wearing socks you'll also know that he's in a good position too because usually the heel will be lifted off of the table right in a slight angle some patients may not be able to keep that position so you could have them bring this foot closer and just rest the heel on top slightly and that way you could ensure that they maintain that position there so the knee is now in its lateral position just now right palpate for the condyle again and it's a half inch distal to that but you can also eye it too and you know that this is the midpoint of what you're looking at right where the knee joints will line up you color me to suit and you ensure that you get everything showing that you don't clip off the patella or anything like that and you open up again to include everything that you need and that is the lateral knee.